good morning. Um, a part of, of what I do, excuse the way that I'm dressed, I would be normally headed to the gym, but um, I'm not. I'm going to work this morning because I got quite a bit of um, meetings a little bit later on in the afternoon that I need to um, do. So I'm headed to um, get, get some coffee. I have coffee at home, but I don't have any creamer, so I'm running to Speedway. But anyway, I wanted to do a quick video um, because I own a company called Iology Inc. And Iology Inc. is a branding, um, social media, marketing, and brand concierge um, and PR firm. And I have quite a few clients that um, I really like watch um, and I do this with really with all of my clients but some of them you know I really watch because they post a lot um, but then I also on Twitter make sure that I favorite all of my clients so whenever they you know post anything especially you know um, news and things of that nature about them or their brand that maybe they forgot to share with you know their brand manager or their social media um, specialist um, I want to, you know, support them and reshare, retweet, or anything of that nature. So, this morning I got something that a client had liked on another um, social media platform. And I'm sorry, I had to pause there because there was a car that pulled up before on alongside of me. And I would like to turn. Anyway, so um, I was alerted of something that they liked on YouTube and it really wasn't appropriate. Um, but so I really want to talk about that. You know, a lot of times we're, we don't really know or we're not when we like certain things on so, different social media um uh, platforms that it goes to other places especially like YouTube if you have a YouTube channel and you're liking things that may not be appropriate um, for your brand um, not it's not to say that you can't be authentic because people we you know we all um, are able to be authentically us you know the essence of us but there are some character flaws or character um, um, underdeveloped areas that we have that we need that we may be working on and we, we don't want everybody to know about those because some of those things are, are um, may not be um, appropriate for um, um, for world consumption or for viral consumption or whatever the what, however you want to put it but we have to be careful about the things that you know we indulge in or um, the things that may not look right when it comes to our brand um, and again it may be things that we're working on and we may not even be aware that other people can see that you know we like these things or that um, you know we're even watching these things so anyway I use social media in so many ways to help you know my, my clients and that is a major way of helping my clients I'm always you know being notified about the things that they're doing of course not because I want to you know oh you're being bad but to also share in whatever joys that they have you know um, me personally and you know all of my companies needs to be able to do the same thing and to support them so but this quick video is just a quick video just to say kind of like be careful of what the things that you're you're posting the things that you're liking um, and a lot of times, you know, we don't really think about those things. We just like them because we think that we're the only person that can see them, especially on YouTube. We think we're the only person that can see them. But um, no, there's a setting there that automatically defaults to it. You know, if you have any other um, accounts, any other social media accounts linked to your YouTube, it's going to send that information onto Twitter. <laughs> so just an FYI. Peace. Car Chronicles.